Understanding, this is too minimal. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase. This is too minimal. We'll explore its meaning, usage, and some examples to help you understand how to use it effectively in your conversations. Whether you're learning English as a second language or just looking to expand your vocabulary, this video is for you. The phrase, this is too minimal, combines two important parts, two and minimal. Let's break it down. Two is an adverb that means more than is desirable, permissible, or possible. It indicates that something exceeds a certain limit. Minimal is an adjective describing something that is the least in amount, extent, or size possible. When we say something is too minimal, we're expressing that it's less than what is needed or considered adequate. It's not just small or limited, it's excessively so, to the point of being insufficient. To better understand, this is too minimal. Let's look at some examples in different contexts. 1. Art and design. Imagine someone critiques a piece of artwork or a design layout by saying, this is too minimal. They mean that the simplicity or the lack of elements is beyond what is aesthetically pleasing or functional. 2. Work or academic projects. If a manager or teacher says, this is too minimal, about a report or presentation, they're indicating that the work lacks depth, detail, or effort needed to meet the requirements. 3. Everyday situations. In a conversation about home decoration, if someone comments, this is too minimal. They might be suggesting that the space feels empty or unwelcoming because it has very few decorative elements. If you're on the receiving end of this feedback, here are a few ways to respond constructively. Ask for specifics. Could you explain what makes it feel too minimal? Seek suggestions. What do you think could be added to improve it? Clarify intentions. I was aiming for a minimalist approach. Do you think it's not effective in this context? Understanding the critique can help you make informed decisions about whether and how to adjust your work or argument. We hope this video has shed some light on the meaning and usage of the phrase, this is too minimal. Remember, communication is key to understanding and being understood. So don't hesitate to ask for clarification or discuss different perspectives when you encounter feedback like this. Thank you for watching, and keep practicing your English skills.